most common person on the Times, as evidenced by the fact that I was brought up in a council house and come from Wolverhampton, unlike Giles Corrin, who was born in the Golden Palace and had a famous dad. The Times like to do funny things in order to point out how common I am. Today's funny thing is to make me dress up like Kate Middleton, our future queen, in a series of ridiculous dresses and pretend that I'm posh. I am now in the beginning process of being made over as Middleton. Can't really see what's going on there, but I suspect that I've got elevation of about a foot. But I don't quite know how that's going to fit in with me and Kate Middleton, who has, uh, sorry to say this, our future queen, the world's most boring hair and makeup in the world, so I don't quite know how we're going to make this exciting. I feel quite distressed because during the hair and makeup process, I realised I was actually quite enjoying having respectable ladies' hair and looking a bit normal, and like my children might not run away from me and be embarrassed about me outside the, uh, the schoolhouse. I mean, in a minute we're going to go and do a shooting scene where apparently I'm going to wear a dead fox and uh, carry around some partridges, so hopefully at that point I'll become repulsed again by, uh, by Kate Middleton's lifestyle, but at the moment I'm really kind of liking being Kate Middleton. William, I don't know if you noticed, um, and I'm wearing a really pretty dress. I've never worn anything like this in my life before, and um, for 20 minutes I cried at how beautiful I was, and how pure and lovely I looked, and how much like a lady, and then I just thought, I would actually look better with leopard skin. I'm going to go Secondly, if you're going to be photographed outside in the middle of January in freezing heat, that two whiskers and a fag really help. Thirdly, that I think wedding dresses do look better when they're accessorised with a big leopard skin fur and coat. Um, and fourthly, um, that even though it's quite nice to dress up for one day as a princess, the whole experience, I suspect, would be a gigantic Titanic 50 years long ball ache. And I'm very glad to call in a day right now and go and have my own imaginary reception where I'm going to dance to the stereo MCs in my head whilst having another scene. Thank you very much. Thank you. 